Chandrayaan-3 will be the world's first mission to land near the lunar south pole. India is going back to the moon in style. Ten, nine, eight, seven, the country eight, launched a historic Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission. On the 14th of July this year, India's mission to discover and explore the moon began. LVM-3 uh, is a rocket that is powered by three types of fuel, solid, liquid and cryogenic fuel. Chandrayaan-3, India's third moon exploration mission, is all set for a soft landing on the Earth's natural satellite. Chandrayaan, which means moon vehicle in Sanskrit, took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre at Sri Harikota in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. On the 5th of August, as the spacecraft entered the Moon's orbit, it has captured incredible images of the Moon and Earth from its journey and provided a detailed view of the lunar craters. With mission Chandrayaan-3, India is bidding to become the fourth country to execute a controlled landing on the Moon. The United States, Russia and China are the only three countries that have successfully soft landed on the moon. Many big countries, they don't have the capability. So, so it's very significant that India does. You know, a lot of the countries that you see named um, ex don't have this capability. So it's a very big deal. We kind of forget this. So India is very strong on engineering capability. Very few countries have the technology to refine oil, to build cars, to uh, ref uh, to to manufacture steel. So, so it's a very big deal. And so, this is another thing that India does very well is the space mission. Indian Space Research Organization ke chairman, Dr. K. Sivan ko gale lagate hue. How can one forget these visuals? When ISRO chief broke down as Prime Minister Modi hugged him after the moon landing glitch. In 2019, India's second attempt at soft landing robotic instruments on the lunar surface, Chandrayaan-2, failed. The communication from lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. Its orbiter continues to circle and study the moon even today, but the Land Rover failed to make a soft landing and crashed during touchdown. Chandrayaan-1, the first lunar probe, carried out the most detailed search for water on the lunar surface and crash-landed on the lunar surface in 2008. But this time in 2023, India's third moon mission is aiming to be the first to land near its little explored South Pole. The lander is due to reach the moon on the 23rd of August, just a week after India celebrates its 77th Independence Day on the 15th. So final power descent and landing is currently planned on 23rd August at 5.47 Indian Standard Time, evening. The entire mission is totally indigenous, living up to the mantra of Atman Effort Bharat. And in the years to come, I think this also reiterates India's role, uh, not merely a global player, but as a leading global player in the world arena in the years to come. Let's take a look at how Chandrayaan-3 will reach the moon. It has adopted a gradual trajectory rather than the direct translunar injection used by the Apollo missions. And that's why it will take above 40 days to reach the moon. Developed by India's space agency, the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO, Chandrayaan-3 includes an orbiter, lander module named Vikram, which means valor in Sanskrit, 
and a rover named Pragyan, the Sanskrit word for wisdom. The lander Vikram weighs about 1,500 kilograms and carries in its belly the 26 kilogram rover named Pragyan. The lander is equipped with advanced technology to ensure proper soft landing. If the landing is successful, the rover will roll off Vikram to explore the nearby lunar area, collect data and conduct a series of scientific experiments. The gathered images will then be sent back to Earth for analysis. The mission comes with a price tag of $74.6 million, way below that of other countries. It's a testament to India's frugal space engineering. The term soft landing is frequently used when it comes to space exploration. What is a soft landing and what does it take to soft land on the moon? Let's find out. A soft landing refers to a successful landing of a spacecraft without it suffering any significant damage to either itself or its payload. So a soft landing goes like this. After the lander separates from the propulsion module, it enters a 100 km into 30 km orbit. This means the farthest it will be from the moon is 100 kilometers and the closest is 30 kilometers. At around 30 kilometer altitude, the lander begins to use its thrusters to navigate down to the surface. At around 100 meters altitude, the lander would scan the surface for obstacles. If there are no obstacles, it would begin a slow descent, firing its thrusters until touchdown. In contrast to that, a hard landing often results in considerable damage to the landing vehicle and may render the mission a failure owing to damage of scientific instruments and equipment. 